So I just want to show you we need to fix the animation here. So So how do you fix that? I remembered it's properties. Go under project default and keep state. So what'll happen is it'll stay in the last position that it was in, which is exactly what we want. So let's try that again. Okay. So now what I want to do is work on my cameras. So one of the things you need to remember is I created three cameras. So when I click on one, this will be the first frame of this camera. So what you may want to do is using the rule of thirds and maybe look at the animation and the playhead needs to be at the beginning. So click here. So this is where my guy starts and maybe this is where I place my camera the way that I want. And, you know, if you if some trees are in the way, you can you can delete the trees, by the way. So I'm going to just go like this nicely centered and I'm going to open camera one. And I'm actually going to create a keyframe. Now you could create auto keyframe. Um, so that under the transform track. So I'm going to just do that here. So that so now start playing. There's something here. I'm just wondering what that is here. I'll delete that. Okay, I'll, I don't know what it is. So. Uh, Now, what you can do is under the transform track, as long as this is selected, if you move, it'll create a new keyframe. So you don't want to move this too much because you do have three cameras. So I'll stop there. So let's see, what, what does the camera do? It moves here to there. So you want that movement. It makes it interesting. And what I'm going to do is at about this part in the phase okay i'm gonna start using the other cameras but how do i do that so i have to go under track camera cuts track okay so this is gonna and the first camera that i'm going to use is cam one so and by the way i made a mistake here make sure my playhead is way at the beginning when i do this or just move this to the beginning and make sure this goes all the way to where your red line which is your end so in our case, there's going to be a pause of about 10 seconds, but at least he's in the freeze frame mode now and, and it'll look okay. So here's what the camera is. You can keep moving the camera. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go like this and I'm going to use the cameras to make it more interesting. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to now go to camera two. Okay. So the problem is I want to see what camera two is, sees, but right now camera one is activated. So go down here, click camera two. This is what camera two sees, okay? So for now, I'm not going to do too many animations, but because my auto keyframe is enabled, I could technically just move this around a little bit. I'm going to move this forward, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit like this, okay? what you're going to see my transform track do is it, it it's going to zoom in okay so it adds extra movement and right here i'm going to make it switch i'm going to go back here and maybe i'm switching a little bit too much here but i'm going to zoom in some more i'm going to move it in like this i'm going to zoom in even more and the so let's see what it looks like. That was a little bit too fast. So what I'm going to do is where the movement is, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. So the camera won't move. Okay. Now, another thing you may have to be careful for is the focus distance. So just make sure that camera is selected. Come over here. Select it so it stays in focus, so it adjusts the focus, okay? Let's see what that looks like. So now I'm only seeing camera two. So this is the master track. So if I want to see what I've done so far, I click on this camera. This is shows the overall, like, what it looks like. So right about here. 
very happy with that. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to start filming from behind. Well, how do I do that? Camera, back. Okay. And again, I could. Or I could go down here to where my camera three is, click on it. And then from there, what I want to do is, and, and one thing I can show you here is you can move this by just saying, okay, I want to keep it on that camera a little longer. And how do I check? You check by clicking it. And then it switches over. And I'm just going to save this just in case it crashes, which is probably good advice for you to do it too. Uh, so what I want to do is I think I'm going to drop the camera. Uh, just wait for this to be done here. Sorry, it's going to be slow, obviously, because I'm in the middle of filming. But, um, you know, it does like to crash on Unreal Engine because you are using some pretty high-end graphics with some pretty decent computers. But, uh, you know, this is usually you have the best computers out there to do this kind of stuff is really what you prefer to do. Okay, so usually this doesn't take so long, but sorry again. All right, so let's go down here to camera three, which is the back camera. And I'm going to press on it and open this up. And what I probably want to do is maybe under the transform track, create a keyframe saying this is where it starts. And I'm going to move it forward like this a little bit more, okay? And maybe like that. So then let's looks like if, if it okay and you know what i'm going to do right away switch back to the front camera how do i do that i go here camera back to camera one and let's see what it looks like boom so let's go back here again here i might decide to zoom in a little bit so I go to camera one, I'm on camera one right now, click on camera one, and I am going to zoom in, press the right mouse button and the W key. And remember what I say, and if you see the key go through the, you want to make sure you don't zoom in on that. So there you go, that's bad. So right here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch to the back camera before it does this, okay? So I'm going to just go up here. I'm going to go straight to the back, boom, and let's see what it looks like. Press this button. It's not perfect. I saw one foot, foot go through, but I think I'm going to leave it. And, and you basically do this or your whole thing, okay? And what we're going to do in the last step is we're going to add some special effects that like explode or whatever else. I'm going to just make it quickly here. Go to cam two. Uh, and I'm going to go back to cam one. You know, like there's an animation. Cameras. I'm going to go to cam three. You know, like you can't do the zooming. And then definitely going back to cam one on this one. And on this point, I definitely want to fix uh cam one so click on cam one here have it look up like that and let's just make sure okay and then what we're gonna do is right here we're gonna zoom in on his face so i'm gonna do i'm gonna double check that it created a transform track on cam one so there's a transform track. Yeah, I created two. I probably only need one here. So what I'm going to do is forward. And then I'm going to zoom in right on his face. And remember, you will have to adjust the zoom thing. Okay. So how do I do that again? You go to cam one. You click over here. And boom. Okay. So it'll... Let's go from the top, press this camera to see what I'll actually be exporting. Press this to return to the beginning. Now let's see. Your song, cues, dancing, all the camera switching.
I'm going to I'm going to just do this here. I just think it doesn't look good here so I can remember I showed you So that's good. I'm happy with that. Let's save it. And that's it for now.